Here we are coming into the beautiful, incredible Temple of Dendera, the Temple of Hathor. Here's a picture, a sculpture of the beautiful Hathor. Hi, I'm Deborah Stangle, founder of Sedona Soul Adventures. We're here at the Hathor Temple of Dendera. Hathor is the goddess of love and music and beauty and creativity and the temple arts. She was such an important goddess to the ancient Egyptians, married to Horus, and they invoked her name, particularly when you're talking about love and creativity. Egyptians have started a project to clean all of the dirt and soot that is all over the temple. One of the things that happened was that the ancient Christians, the Copts, at, in around the year, the year zero, <laughs> 100 AD, when they were being persecuted by the new church, I'm sorry, persecuted by the Romans, they came to these old abandoned and lived here and they cooked and they had fires and the smoke from the fires and then of course just the years have deposited all of this soot and grime that have covered up the incredible amazing colors that are in these temples so this temple is one that the Egyptian government now has started a project of cleaning and the results have been so stunning to see the sharp colors that are here in the temples to really get an appreciation of what they must have looked like in their heyday is just so incredible, so amazing, and such a wonderful part of this journey. Used by the Copts and commoners as well, so they started cooking. We had torchlights, we had fumes, and that caused the ceiling to become black. And this is part of how the ceiling looked like. Can you see it up there? Oh, they cleaned it? And they cleaned the whole thing. So these are the original colors. These are giving us an idea how these temples were actually looking like. The other very impressive thing that we see is the panels that are on top of the head of the cow goddess Hathor. Can you see it? Yeah. It's Hathor and Isis sitting down and baby Horus on their lap doing what? Suckling. He's suckling. Remember the monastery that we said is in Saqqara with the frescoes of Jesus suckling? Yeah. So that is what the Copts or what the Christians have taken to be the icon of the Madonna and the child. Look up there, just above me. Can you see the gods and goddesses going up the steps? Can you count how many are they? Fourteen. Fourteen. And what is after that last one? The eyes. In the middle of the... Khunsu oh, <laughs> is the god of the moon. So this is in the crypt in the temple of Dendera, and this is what many people believe to be an electric light bulb. And I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but it is very interesting because it looks like an incandescent light. And then going into what could be a wire that you would put in a wall.